Hey, the Blue Jays won a big one today. Uh, me and uh, little Max here were watching it. Marco Estrada went seven and a third innings of no-hit ball against the Boston Red Sox, which to me is absolutely remarkable that you could no-hit the Red Sox for that long, especially at Fenway Park. But now the Jays are four games over 500, and I'm going to here to tell you right now that uh, they're on their way to winning another American League East uh, championship. Even with Jose Bautista hitting 229, but he comes up with timely hits. Even with Donaldson struggling at the plate and with a bad thumb, and Encarnacion hitting in the 240s, and Russell Martin not even hitting 200, and Pilar hitting 237, and Devin Travis having problems, and injuries to Brett Cecil and, and uh, Troy Tulowitzki, and still, still, they're the best team in the American League East. Two and a half games out of first place, and the sky's the limit for this team. One problem I have, though, is John Gibbons' reliance on Roberto Asuna. You know, he threw 29 pitches on Friday night. He had to get four outs. Okay, he got the save. That's great. But he came in today in a non-save situation with his team up 5-1 to one in the ninth inning and a runner at second. And I don't care who the reliever is, you can't get up for a, a game in the ninth unless you're in a safe situation, unless you got a fire to put out immediately. Luckily, he hung on to the very end, but he threw another 29 pitches. It's only early June. By September, this guy's arm can fall off, so Gibbons had better find another way to go to the bullpen and utilize somebody else or the team's in trouble. Okay, that's all i got to say about that. You can't really complain too much after a win. Trivia time now. Yesterday, we honored Muhammad Ali, the late great one, with this trivia question. Which NBA player at the time challenged Ali to a fight and then later postponed the fight? That would have been Will Chamberlain, who realized that even though he was way taller and much heavier, Ali would have killed him. Today's trivia question, since Marco Estrada almost had a no-hitter, what pitcher threw the most walks in a game in which he threw a no-hitter? Most walks by a pitcher in a game in which he threw a no-hitter. Pretty good one? All right, no Googling.